Marine inspectors have never seen anything like this. They have arrested a man they accuse of being the biggest manta ray dealer caught since Indonesia established the world's largest sanctuary for mantas earlier this year. To harvest these gills, almost 40 rays had to be killed. The gills are sold to China to treat skin rashes and even diseases like cancer, even though there's no scientific basis for their use. Mantas are the world's largest race and are popular with divers. They are threatened with extinction due to their low reproductive rates and because they are increasingly being hunted for their gills, says a representative from the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species. Indonesia has decided to protect manta rays, both ocean and reef mantas, because we have considered that the benefits of a living manta ray for tourism purposes are much larger than a dead manta ray sold at the fish market. One kilogram of dried manta gills will sell for around $170. In comparison, the Indonesian government says a single manta ray during its lifetime will generate about $1 million in tourist Revenues. This is the largest amount of manta ray gills ever confiscated in Indonesia. With a growing demand for these gills from China, it's very difficult to stop the illegal trade. Despite an agreement among Asian countries to protect marine life, this is still happening. Indonesia's new fisheries minister has called on Asian governments to protect the oceans. And we all agree that sustainability of a natural resources commercialization is very important to keep and to maintain our good relationship as a strategic partner in Southeast Asia and in Asia, basically. The Chinese government recently stopped shark fin soup from being served at government functions, but the trade in manta ray gills has not been curtailed. I think uh, China's uh government policy is to protect you know, the uh, endangered species. So we are uh, working with the international community, including Indonesia, uh, to, uh, <clears throat> to do that. Uh, so uh, uh, in that regard, I think uh, a lot of efforts have already been, uh, uh, have been taken but still more efforts need to be taken. While Indonesia has started to educate fishermen to protect manta rays, this was the scene recently at a fish market in East Lombok. By arresting the traders, the Indonesian government hopes that eventually fishermen will stop catching manta rays and other vulnerable species, so future generations can also enjoy these majestic creatures. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, Bali.